corner find me, yeah, I'm in the front row With my two tickets on me, I'm in the front row The best place to be, yeah, I'm in the front row The best place to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Me, yo, I'm in the back. front row we all back. We all live. Me and Dev in the house. What's going on, Dev? What's good, bro? We here. So, we got to Oh, we rock a little bit. We got to rock a little bit. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's our song right there. Hey, you heard your boy Zoe album? Man. Your boy Zoe, Z02 on the Lake Show? Got that Hot 17 track album he dropped? Let me just say, I'm glad he I'm glad he already has his fallback plan. Because he's going to need a fallback or something pretty soon. Hey, but yeah, he out here dropping albums, about to drop a baby. Like, your boy doing it all, but playing. But hey, but they tweeted today he's supposed to be playing he's tomorrow. He's supposed to play tomorrow. The Lakers are officially saying it's questionable, but the big baller brand has to tweet out. They tweeted out he's, he's going 100%. Tomorrow, so, we'll um, see. It's always questionable because he had he did a full practice today, so you got to see how his knee feels. But he tomorrow. said yesterday he practiced, and I guess he was sore today, but he went, decided to practice anyway or whatever. Yeah. So I think if he's still talking about soreness and pain, I, I feel like they're going to still hold him out a little bit, maybe. I don't, there's no, I mean, the team's not making the playoffs, so <laughs> there's no, no rush. Like, you know, chill. Because like, the, sure the worst really thing good. he could do is come back, play tomorrow, and then be like, man, I feel like crap, or <laughs> look like crap, and then be like, you know what, like, I'm not going to, I need to sit out, so I don't, I don't have it. If you don't have all your, if you don't have all your, all, all your, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? If you don't have all your gears, you know, you can't go, you can't switch to high gear. Then you you, you might even hurt yourself even more. I so. think in, I think in this, his situation is like as a young guy, you see how the season's going. You see your other rookie Kuzma. You see Ingram. Those are your boys. Oh, you see Ingram them looking good at the point guard. You see too. them play. No, but I'm saying you see them play. You want to play. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I think he's in his mind like I want to play. I fuck it. I'm gonna. I think he might even tell him, no, I feel good. All Just right, to go play. Before I go in, because I know last week I was thanking Magic, loving Magic, praising Magic. I got a little bit more feelings that have turned to hostility. So let me before I jump into that, give me just a quick thirty second recap of how you felt All Star Weekend looked. Um, All Star Weekend was all right. As far as like, let's go to like the Saturday night. I'll go. I'll start with the All Star Saturday night, like the dunk contest skills, three point, like whack. Agreed. The skills was the best thing to I me. I need that soundbite from uh, what's that comedian? Whack. <laughs> I think the skills was the best part. The three point, the three point contest. Other than Devin Booker's last two rounds when he went oh, super he's crazy, be special. Yeah, but everyone was clanking. You saw these dudes were missing Dude, shots. They through Tobias Harris. Yeah, he's not a three point said. shooter, bro. I looked at him because I was. I, people know I'm an Orlando Magic fan, so Tobias Harris was on the Magic, and we traded he's him because he, he couldn't bro. shoot threes. But it's like as soon as they trade him, now he wants to be a three point shooter. Yeah. And then Paul George, what was that? He did. He was clanking them left and right. Like I think he got like ten or nine or something like that. Like it was terrible. They, they got the guys who aren't three point shooters. I mean Devin Booker, he could just shoot. He's a, he's wet. He's a three yeah. point shooter. Like so, it was gonna be easy for him. Yeah. I mean, and he he went off that one round, he did, right? Went where off. He missed like two shots or something like uh-huh. that. Some crazy. And then I just think now and then moving on to the dunk contest. I just, I'm just at the point like I haven't been satisfied with the dunk contest for Bro, a while. No. But I'm no. at the point where it's just like what was it last year? Levine. Oh, you're right. You're right. Levine and Aaron Ooh, Gordon. That was good. That was special. That was special. That was but like the, that's what the that's Dunk like Vince Carter, Carter 98. The Dunk needed that because they were doing creative Was dunk. that 98? When was that Vince, Vince Carter? Carter or 2000? Was, it had to be in the 2000s. I, I think it was yeah, 2000, to be honest. Like that. But what I'm saying is, you're right. We needed that. But I just feel like now, it's just too much... We've seen everything is how I low-key feel. Like, we've seen everything. Yeah. And, like, so it's kind of like... And how many really... dunks can you do? Exactly. Like, how like, much can you create? Like, what can else can you do? Like, and I just Because sometimes like... it just gets silly. They bring, like, ten people out, and then this guy passes, that guy jumps over this. It's like, okay. And then what I'd also... They, I, just, I just feel like they need to figure out a way to switch up the format somehow. Because, like, got, like Victor Oladipo, I don't know if you saw on social media, he did some dunk, like, warming in practice yesterday or something. And he oh. says, if I would have made the final round... That dunk looked pretty dope. That like, dunk, that dunk he was threw it legit. off, caught it, threw it back or something like that. It was yeah. he spun while he did it. He yeah, he, saying, he, he jumped, threw it off the glass, caught it, and then dunked it. Or something. It was, like, yeah. weird how he... It was super weird because he touched it twice. It was weird how... He, it was kind of like what Nance did where he touched it twice, and then, but it was weird. But it looked cool. Although he would have got tens for sure if he would have did that. Yeah. But I'm thinking, like, they got to change the format where the guys could put out their best dunks. Like, I heard Dennis Mitchell said he had a, a dunk he was saving, too, for the final round. It's like they're saving their good dunks for the final round, but these guys aren't making it to the final round, so we're not seeing these dunks. So it's like somehow they need to change the format, or I just think guys need to come out and just go hard from the beginning and just do their best dunks from the beginning or something. But this dunk contest was whack. 
I didn't like the Saturday night out overall. Um, to recap, I wasn't really a big fan. I think they could do more, do something better. Yeah. The game was all right, I guess. I'm never really a big All-Star game fan I don't because I know they don't really play. I know they try to make it more competitive. But, yeah, honestly, I just tell people, just watch the last five, ten minutes. That's all. That's when they start playing hard and actually playing defense. Well, uh, the game actually, the All-Star game actually started out competitive. And then, like, second and third, it kind of died. to that lull. Yeah, and then the fourth, it picked up. Correct. So, and I, I think it picked actually... up because LeBron's like, I can't lose this step when I got my <laughs> KD on my team. Uh-huh. And like that last possession was great. I loved it. They were smothering him. He couldn't even get a shot off. Like, oh yeah! <laughs> like you can see what he they passed it do. to Harden, and Harden passed it to uh, who did he throw it to for that last shot? It was Steph, and then Steph gave it to Harden. DeRozan. I thought Harden and Harden to DeRozan. I think. Yeah, DeRozan was on the court. And they couldn't even get a shot off. Like those two dice are trees. You can see that shows you, like when they really want to play hard, like. They could really make. What do you think about Anthony Davis's comments at All Star Weekend? I don't. Which we one? had, if we had cousins, we'd make a run to the finals. Uh, I don't know about all that. Like, because you know, really, they just didn't have. They don't. They don't have enough offense to compete with everybody. And because they, he just thinks because they have two bigs and they're like everyone's gonna play small and make you adjust to them. Like if you play the Warriors, you're gonna have to play. But them. I think he was talking about offensively, they can't be stopped. I think that's debatable I mean, too, though. Yeah. Because you can't put the ball down if you got little guys underneath you just right there smack, smacking the ball out of your hand. And I think if that, I just, I mean. But he said he wants to play out his contract and then see what's what. I did see that, but I just, I don't know about them making a finals run. Like, but you don't know what addition. that is. That could be strategy to Their get team, what was it? What was their record? They're a 500 team with Cousins there the season. They were a 500 team or whatever. So, like, you guys are that good, but you guys are barely hovering around 500. So, I don't think see. Yeah, they're only like run. four or five games. And it's not like he just got traded there. He was got traded there last. That should last have been your acclimation period. Yeah. Last year was your acclimation period. This year should have been let's take off. From hey, he got jump. traded on All Star Weekend. That's what I'm saying. Like it was a year ago today or something. I read yeah. an article. So it's like I don't think it's not. I felt like they still hadn't figured it out. And you already damn near had a year because you won half of last year, half of the first half. Yeah. Pretty much had like a year, and I see you still a 500 team. So no, I'm not buying that. Yeah. All right, now can I get into what I told you I was yeah, angry man, about? This, let me let me tell y'all. This dude was even moved the podcast up a day. We was supposed we it's supposed to be I have, Friday. I have to get this out. We moved it up. He was like, "Can we meet? I have to go in on Magic. I guess he has his Randy wants to go on Magic and Lakers, so we about to let him have at it." All right, so I was thanking Magic Johnson for the trade, and by all means, it was a good trade because they needed it at that time for the position we were in. We needed that trade. We need the cap space. But this is what I've been kind of assessing over the last last week when I'm like texting you like I need to talk about this Dev I need to get this out I think it's becoming more and more clear that free agents star free agents in their prime do not want to come waste their time on a rebuild with a bunch of young guys who who look good but they still don't know you know why does Paul George want to come at 28 to be with a not a sure thing he has Russell Westbrook Carmelo Anthony and Adams over there, and that's solid already. That's that's pretty much better than what the Lakers got. So, other than Westbrook, in your sentence, I think those other three two players, Lakers can be have better players than those guys. But it, down the road, but not not at this Carmelo's current point weak, in time. Weak right now, so he, Carmelo's Carmelo Carmelo looks asset. weak though because he's not really used in the way. Carmelo's he's used not going to help you win a championship. Oh, I know, but he's if that's what Paul Carmelo Anthony is still better than Kyle Kuzma. Okay, yeah. He, so at this point, is he better than Brandon Ingram? Brandon Ingram is definitely more versatile. Well, he can do more, but that's what we need. We yeah. don't need someone to just score. So, but even then, Paul George can go somewhere else that has a better situation than the okay. Lakers. Look, look, imagine if he went to Philly. Correct. Oh my God! Correct. Like Ben Simmons Correct. feeding him the ball. You got Joel Embiid. Like keep going. Uh, right. So, and then you know LeBron is going to be thirty-four. I just think with Paul George, he's though his thing is he wants to come to LA. I think he does too. But here's the thing, like. And even though I think and I want him to be here, and because I, I want one domino to fall, and I think that open, you know, Kawhi Leonard's already over there. I heard him hearing the same thing. Kawhi Leonard, I want to be over there. So you know, so, you know, so but I think what but, would what would the Spurs require for that? But here's the thing, like here's what makes me upset, right? Like everyone gives Magic Johnson so much credit for drafting Kyle Kuzma. What a find! Magic Johnson didn't find Kyle Kuzma. The Lakers scouting department found Kyle Kuzma, and who assembled that scouting department? The Mitch Kupchak did. Regime. Mitch Kupchak did. He assembled that scouting department under that. And Mitch Kupcher drafted pretty damn well. Isn't Mitch, Not know. every guy might be a star. The only one who's probably going to be a star of all the guys he drafted is probably Brandon Ingham. But he still drafted Jordan Clarkson in the second round. Turned out to be good. He drafted Andrew Bynum way back in the day. He turned out to be good. He turned out to be an all-star at least. So as for the current guys, he drafted Randall. Good player. 
Clarkson, good player. D'Angelo Russell, good player. Didn't he's, he draft uh, Mark Gasol too? He drafted Mark Gasol got, too, who, who ended up them, trading getting them for Powell. Powell. Correct. So it's like he drafted well. He he banked. He he started to see the writing on the wall. Like, okay, we're not going to get any stars. So he he went all in on his youth, and I think even still right now, if he was still the guy, we'd still have all the youth together. Clarkson would still be there. D'Angelo would still be there. He probably would have somehow bought out or stretched Mozgov and tried to figure something out with the other guys, package them around free agents, but or packages around the draft picks, you know, and then maybe and maybe Lonzo Ball would end up being Jason Tatum or something else, you know, but he would have banked on the on the youth that we have and, and look how it was looking. Uh, and also Larry Nance to throw in as well. So look how the youth was looking Going, going, coming up to this All Star break, they were balling. They looked good. It's like, oh man, they're finally meshing. They won twelve of sixteen games. Look there, and they weren't just beating bad teams; they were beating good teams as well. So I'm like, wow. So then, you know, Magic Johnson, he's so hell bent on getting that star. So he's he's banking our future on us on getting stars here and giving up the youth that we've had that we've acquired and that's that's come out to be good. So now I'm seeing this like, okay. He's doing this. He just lost Clarkson and Nance, and it's actually hurting the Lakers because you see, defensively they look terrible now. They look lost offensively. They're just they're just out of sorts. And on top of that, Lonzo's been hurt, and that's their point guard. So, so I'm looking at this. I'm like, wow. So we got to hope a superstar comes and saves the day, or else they're kind of going to be in a rut. So For- I was thinking, like, the star free agents aren't going to come right now. Why not go after the next best thing? which are the young stars that haven't popped yet. You're looking at the Devin Bookers of the world, the, the Nikola Jokic, those guys. Then maybe you can package something together. Because we just, no, I just, no. I just saw Brandon Ingram ball out. There's no way on earth Devin Book, Phoenix is going to let Devin Booker go. There's no way on earth Denver is going to let him. Jokic Unless Devin go. Booker doesn't want to be there. He if only I, has one more year left on his deal. If they so, hit. so if Devin Booker is happens to be interested in the Lakers. If you package, don't get mad at me, because we just saw Brandon Ingram ball out at point guard and look good at point guard. You package something like he's gonna say something crazy right now. Lonzo Ball and point. that first that first round draft pick we just got in that trade with Cleveland for Devin Booker, something like that, or even Jokic in Denver. You make something happen that way with the young stars, because right now the guys in their prime, they're either not moving or not there, or they're not really looking at the Lakers. I get, and that's I, what I was thinking all the time. Like, what, Magic maybe need to might need to go that route because if it doesn't work this year, what's going to go? Oh, we got him in 2019. Well, Clay just said he wants to resign in Golden State. We don't know what's going on with Kawhi Leonard. I just think he had. And then just, Jimmy, I don't think Jimmy Butler's a guy. Even though Jimmy Butler took, he, he did help the Timberwolves a lot because Timberwolves weren't even in the playoffs last year. Now they're what a three seed, uh-huh. and all they added on was Butler and Teague. So it's just like I got Jamal Crawford. They got um. Oh yeah, I mean, but the main yeah, guy, the guy right. doing the work, is you know right. Jimmy Butler. So, but even then, like I don't know if I want Jimmy Butler on the Lakers. Yes, you do. You take Jimmy Butler on the Lakers. I just think I can't fault Magic because you look at the championships that have been won over over the last what? There's any forever the last wherever. They've all been won with superstars. You have to have a superstar to win a championship. True that, but look. We, we could go the, the route that it's trending now. Like, you build through your draft. You don't build through free agency because unless you're getting LeBron James well, I feel and, like and this Chris Bosh. first year, second year, whatever, he has to try. Or I Kevin think he Durant. has to try that. Like, he has to try because I think the fans so are So you tired. trade away our youth. Three of our picks are the already fan, gone. The, the fan, well, okay. And so he has to try. He's going to have to try this summer. He's clearing space. You can't, you can't sign the free agents if you don't have the space to sign them. Right? So him making this trade was the first step in doing well, Clarkson, this. He but Clarkson a, didn't necessarily need it to be traded right then and there. Well, Cl- uh, Cleveland wanted him. And they needed to clear more space. And that's what they want. Lakers, look, you were the first one that said, when we when I walked in this when I walked over here today, you said, why is it Lazo sh- shouldn't play? Because they're not going to make the playoffs anyway. So I feel the same way. Like, he, they're not going to make the playoffs. So that's how uh, Magic thought. I'm not going to make the playoffs. So why, I think he, I don't think he wanted to give up Nance. But I think he had to. Like, Nance, I think he, they probably wanted to keep. But it was They kinda, probably ultimately wanted to keep Clarkson, Clarkson and Nance. But, but they I had think, to do what they had to do. Yeah, and I think he saw it as... Isaiah's on a one-year deal. 
Isaiah could get a, be gone after this season. I think he can bring Isaiah back for them ten million. Though. Maybe One if he could, yeah, years. they might be able to. If like, he looks you. good in twenty five games, because he's going to have to do have to do a prove it deal, a one year prove it deal. Oh. to think because he, he think he's not going to get that long. And I even feel bad watching Isaiah do these, these interviews. They're they're so sad. It's always like, oh yeah, you know, because I was out seven months. It's like he always resorts back to to remind everyone I was out seven months, guys. Like. I got to get back. I got to get back. I had no preseason. And it's like every question he's asked, he throws in, I was out seven months. You know, I've been out seven months and, you know, I'm out. I was like, damn, okay. Like, we get it. Everyone felt, knows. Trust us. We know. And then it was he, talked and then about he, a lot. But then he brings up Cleveland too. Like, you know, it wasn't good. It's like, fuck. He I'm, misses it. I can tell. I think he's hurt by it. He, well, he he's still he hurt hurt. over Boston. He's still, he's I think he Boston. could go back to Boston. He, maybe. Possibly. Why not come off the, the bench? Cheap, on the cheap. Why not but come I off think their he, bench? I th- no, he said him and Danny H haven't talked. They probably never will talk. I think that relationship is gone. That relationship is done. I, I could see way. Isaiah going with the contender, like maybe even like Philly, coming off probably. Philly's bench and just coming. But off. he thinks he's a starter. That's a problem. I know. Though. He thinks he's a starting point guard, and he thinks he's on the level with LeBron in them. He thinks he's a superstar. Well, because he he did prove it. He proved so, it for man, that why one, year. one year though. And yeah, I, one year. What have you done in all your other years? Like one year, you found the right situation. But then he, cause he could always right say I was undervalued. I was undervalued, and finally, when I got my shot, look what I did. No, I think you found the right situation. You found the right team that had the mm-hmm. the good. You were, look, and the Celtics traded you. Like you, obviously, you they look well, how they was, thought about you. He's damaged goods. I mean, how good would the Celtics be right now with Hayward out and Isaiah Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> looking like but this. But I don't even no? think Hayward would have signed with just Isaiah Thomas still there. I think he would have. Wait, what? The Kyrie deal was first, or was the Hayward deal first? Kyrie. That's what I say. I don't think he would have signed with. No, Hayward was first. Was he? I thought Hayward was first, okay. and then maybe still there. Because I was going to say I don't think if I'm Hayward, I'm not signing with the Celtics if if it's just. Kyrie there. I mean, if it's just Isaiah Thomas. But maybe it there. was Kyrie first. But also, you have to. I just realized, too, his, I, that was his college coach, too. Brad oh, yeah, Steven. Brad Stevens, yeah. So that probably played a big factor into it, too. And that, the big hit. You still think, you think Hayward makes a comeback this year? No. I think, I don't think, com- the Celtics, I think he's coming back. I don't think the Celtics are going to let him. That's how I feel. I don't think the Celtics are going to let him. That's a big investment, bro. They, they're thinking Grant Hill. Remember Grant Hill trying to come back and play? It messed up his ankle career because he played on a bad, a broken ankle. Yeah, and that was kind of like the thing with Popovich. Like after they won that that first championship with Duncan, the next year Duncan hurt himself, uh-huh. and they're like, "You're gonna bring back Duncan?" They're like, "Nope." They're like, "But he's good to go for the playoffs." Dude, he feels we're not trying to win one more ring this year with Duncan. We're trying to win three, four, four, five. three, four, exactly. five more, and they did. they did exactly. So, he so played, I agree. He the long I wouldn't. Term. I wouldn't put him in. And can we touch on a little bit? Speaking of injuries, and since we're doing it, I want to talk about yeah. the whole the Kawhi Leonard situation. Oh yes, like that's turning into a bizarre, bizarre, bizarre situation. I don't understand what's going on. 100%. He has a quad injury that I ain't never seen a quad injury. This like now they're saying yesterday he's probably out for the whole season, and it looks like there's it's messy between them, and he's not happy with them, and they're not happy. He doesn't trust their trainers, and he keeps going to get his own opinion, and I don't know. It just I think just some funny things, and the Spurs are a quiet organization. I wouldn't be surprised if they're secretly sh- if they're going to secretly shop him Whoa. in the off season, and then I think they might gonna try to get a package for him. If they're done and he's not trusting them anymore, I think the Spurs are that kind of team. Like you're not in no more. You're all, you're not all in like we are, like the Patriots type deal. Cause any kind of friction, you cause any kind of drama. You ain't all in. You ain't about it. You ain't buying in no more. You, bye. Spurs aren't gonna. The Spurs aren't gonna just keep going for that. So that's why I feel. It's drama. You never ever hear drama with the Spurs. When was the last time we heard about any? Yeah, drama? they're usually, and if there is, they keep it like in house. Correct. So I think this is going to cause major problems, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're shopping him. And if they are, the Lakers better be first in that line. Looking. Yeah, but then they're going to have to give up everything they got. What wouldn't? What would you not give up for Kawhi Leonard though? What's too much for Kawhi Leonard? Well, that's the thing though. We bring Kawhi Leonard. What is? What is he going to play with? I mean, we got to hope now that oh, okay, let's get Paul George too. Let's get maybe LeBron wants to play like. You gotta hope all that happens, and or else who's he gonna play with? Freaking Josh Hart? Like, thanks, but no thanks. Like, <laughs> that's, I don't think they. I'll would take have Kuzma. To, you think that's what they would uh, ask for? Ingram and Randall over one Kawhi. Yeah, I take them, but I don't think the Spurs would ask for that much. Because in this situation, it would be a situation where everyone knows that they're trying to get rid of them. So okay, give, give them Kuzma and anyone else but but Ingram. You do that. You do Kuzma and Lonzo for Kawhi. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. I wouldn't even. I would have done it yesterday. In a heart. Look it, because I think Kuzma's going to be good. I just don't think he'll ever be great. I agree. I think Lonzo is good already. I just don't think Lonzo will ever be great. So I see guys that are good, 
It might be borderline All Star one day. I think I think Brandon Ingram <laughs> is gonna be a great player. That's to be seen. I don't. Great is a strong word for me. I think I think when by the time Ingram hits his stride and he's in his prime, and how long is it gonna take? What is he in the third year now? This is in the second year. Sec- he's second twenty. Year? He's only like a week older than Lonzo. Yeah. So, I think by the time he's 23, 24, four years from now, he's only four years from now. He's only gonna be twenty four. Like he's gonna be in the ent- barely entering his prime. Yeah. At twenty four, because usually from twenty four to twenty nine, you're usually like. <laughs> Right there at yeah. your best. Yeah. So, I yeah. just think it would be cool. Like Lakers, I, I think Kawhi is underrated. Even though, oh, he, I think he's super. Kawhi underrated. Leonard's a top four, five player in this game. I agree. It's so hard though, man, because there's some nights I watch Anthony Davis and he's just like goes for thirty five, seventeen, and five. I'm like, God, how that was that not the best player in basketball? Then you see the next night, KD goes off. Then LeBron's still doing his thing, and then Curry goes crazy. It's like, man, this is. Westbrook, I was just it's like all right, Westbrook. this is dumb. Like everyone's good. Like it's a lot of good players. Like there's like eight guys in the top four. You know, like how, how do you, how do you? It's hard to rank them. Like if you're an NBA favorite. I hope your team gets you one of them because that's pretty much what runs the league. You, you gotta have a star, and now they're teaming up with each other, changing the game. Yeah, <laughs> teaming that's up crazy with thing. each other. So it's like. Dang, back in the day, remember, you used to kind of see, like, every team had one really good player back in the day. Like That's what was good, because uh, the league was kind of even. Yeah, every now team it's just had, so top-heavy. Every team had good, had a good player or two, and now it feels like just a couple teams have the goods. So, uh, I mean, if the Lakers do, I would love to get Kawhi Leonard, obviously, but not for everything we got, you know? But for sure, for damn well, sure, I'd rather have him than, than Paul George. I was just going to say the same thing. I'd rather, I mean, I I'd like Paul George Kawhi a whole Leonard lot, but Paul George. I'm not a, Look at. Kawhi Leonard every year is an MVP candidate. Paul uh-huh. George every year might make the All Star team. Uh-huh. Might make the All Star team every year, but Kawhi Leonard for damn sure every year is an uh, MVP con- contender. Like contender. So I, I just think like you talk about offense. Like Paul George might put up more points, but Kawhi Leonard's better efficient offensive player. He's a better defensive player. He has a chip and a and a Finals MVP. You know, everyone, I was hearing today, oh, Paul George has more All-Stars. Like, Paul George is also in the East. Uh-huh. Like Paul George that, didn't even make the All-Star team this year until, in the West. until someone until got Until someone hurt. had to get hurt. And then in the All-Star game, it didn't even look that good. So, yep. so uh, real quick, before we wrap it up, Dodgers spring training. <laughs> See Giants, this? Giants spring hey, training. Hey, Matt Kemp, they say dropped <laughs> almost 50 pounds. 5-0? Five, 5-0. Zero? Five, zero oh, wow. Going into this camp. They're, so, they, are they going to keep him? Look, he's owed almost fifty million dollars over the next two years. If someone can take that contract, but I think there's been people saying in Dodger camp that the biggest surprise is going to be Matt Camp. Everyone's going to. I can see that. I can see him making. I a see resurgence. Matt Camp splitting time in left field with him and that that new kid they're bringing up, Verdugo, who's like a power hitter. They have coming out of AAA, who's supposed to be a stud. He could probably share time with him and Jock Peterson and. Verdugo, they're going to kind of... Well, Puig's got right. Taylor's got yeah. center. And I'm sure you're going to have Jock Peterson on that to come off the bench. And then I, I think Matt Camp, if he plays 100 games, he'll hit you 20 home runs and hit 270. Especially now if he's getting back to his weight where he was before he left the Dodgers. When he looked, when he was looking good, he was hitting the ball really well. So I think that's going to be a big surprise. But then you still got Seager coming back. Seager looks good. You got your... Uh, Bellinger, so got you know, uh-huh. Justin Justin uh, Turner. So, I think Dodgers are still the team to beat in the NL. We got to see how the Giants look with watch those Giants, those old acquisitions we'll they see. got. We'll see. Those once upon a time all stars. Hey, they also say all three World Series teams were old and they weren't good. No, 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 no. They had, but well, we'll give it to off, off. But I'm just letting Evan you know, Longoria, the Giants you know, are little thirty-two McCutcheon. injury prone. Hey, McCutcheon. It's better than what he had last year. Injury prone. Better than what he had last year. So, oh yeah, had. definitely better than what he, he had, had last year. Had a full season of a healthy Bumgarner who's going to stay off those dirt bikes in Colorado, and we should be all right. I hope he goes and dates that girl that he used to date with the same name as him, Madison <laughs> Bumgarner. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Better stay afraid of Puig, bro. It's coming for you. Nobody's coming for you at all. Opening day, they just said that he's starting against Kershaw. Open the day. Dodgers yeah. Giants are open the day. Dodgers, uh, Dodgers 4 nothing win. I'll nah, take that. We'll see. It's gonna be and then uh, the team in the East, baby. The Yankees. So, yeah, those, the Bronx Dude, that Packers. lineup is so nuts. Oh, wouldn't it be the guy that hits in the middle of them? He's going to see fastball. Oh, in between. All day. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to hit fastball <laughs> all day long. Aaron Boone, their coach, said that he might, because he's going to have probably Brett Gardner lead off. 
and Judge too, and then have Bird. There's yeah, there's that's what I'm saying. I want to be Bird, lefty righty, lefty righty, and then yeah, because Bird's gonna be in between. Stan. And then following Stan, I mean, he's gonna be Sanchez, in between. Like oh my god, and then yeah. you still got D.D. Gregorius. Yeah, the Yankees are gonna you got be Hicks. They gotta oh. stay healthy. They gotta stay healthy, and we gotta see what their arms looking like. And then look how many bombs Stan hit at at the Miami Marlins Field, park. that gonna... huge park. I don't even a tiny little Yankee stadium. I, I bet you they made a secret wager who can hit more home runs this year. They have to low competition for Bro, the competition. I don't know, but who's gonna hit more? Well, Stanton is more seasoned right now than Judge, but Judge is also twenty five. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's a baby. Mm-hmm. Stanton's twenty eight, I think twenty nine. Like, that's just not gonna be fair. I'm just thinking about it. That's not gonna be fair. Dude, that that team's crazy, bro. That team's Those so two crazy. Guys dropping bombs. And then look at Jake Arrieta <laughs> still out there. I'm hoping maybe the Yankees wait Scooping. till the last minute. But hey, bro, hey, look at there's a couple. No one's gonna sign you. Here's one year fifteen. Take one year fifteen. Let's go win a chip. Let's go get a chip. Look who we got behind you. Let's get a chip. I can see it. They need a pitcher. They could, well, they got Severino. That's their ace. Yeah, he's back. He's a bad boy. Is CC gonna CC's, do what he did last year? Well, I mean, that was I don't know. I don't that know was pretty good though, bro. He, he what did he go last out. year? Like thirteen and five, something, something crazy. like that. He balled out, but kept I don't the know ERA under to, four. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that. You again. know what? Everyone just needed to realize he needed time to learn how to pitch. Because it's like one day you're throwing ninety eight, then you come back. It's like it's just not there anymore. You're at throwing ninety, eighty nine. I need to be a pitcher. I gotta learn how to pitch. Dude, a guy being a power pitcher his whole career. You gotta learn. He even said in an interview, like, "Man, I wish I could throw ninety eight forever. It's just not possible." Uh-huh. You know. So then you gotta learn how to pitch. So. It doesn't work that way. But and then. Um, Oh, last thing, Canelo Triple G. They're Ooh, fighting at T-Mobile Arena. Yes, sir. Can't tickets wait. are going to be crazy. Can't right wait. now, they're already at the cheapest tickets, $500, I think. $300, $500. <laughs> that's still on the first market. Once it hits the secondary market, when it goes to Ticketmaster and StubHub, those tickets are going to double, triple. Like the $300 seats, they're going to be like $900. Yep. And then the rest of the tickets, they said, are like $1,500, $2,500, $3,000, 5000 I think like ringside, like twenty grand. Spend half of that or less than half of that and throw a big but party you know at your what? house. T-Mobile Cinco Arena. Mayo, oh, oh my, that part is going down here, right yes. here at my pad. I'm on my pad. It's going down right here. But I, I thought they're going to do it at Dallas Stadium just because it's so huge. But I guess Vegas, you can't be Vegas and they'll pay you. They pay that money for you guys to show up. So, But all right, guys, that's our show uh, in the front row, in the front row.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, C underscore Rod Sports LA. Uh, Mr. underscore D White. On all Snapchat, Instagram. Snapchat, too. I didn't even mean to say that. Snapchat's for young Twitter, kids, bro. Instagram, you old man. I'm on there, too, but yeah. All right, guys. That's our show. We'll talk to you again next week.